Bueno, um, we need uh, intro to introduce yourself, and I'm, I'm going to do the spot. So here we are with a special guest, uh, named number one DJ in the world for uh, consecutive times and five times in total. It's such a pleasure having here with us presenting his new album, Phil, again, the one and only Armin Van Buren. How are you, man? I'm good. Thank you for having me. No, it's such a pleasure of being here with you. So now we know that it's been a process you know, uh, since the world changed in 2020, uh, this pandemic era, and we experienced another concept of being healthy. And uh, we experienced for the first time maybe uh, a lockdown all over the world. So how difficult it was uh, being far from family, friends, and especially fans. Uh, well, I think um, ever since the passing of Avicii, Tim, you know, um, the whole subject of uh, mental health is now more important. To be honest, I think I've traveled a little bit too much for my own good. Uh, I mean, I love my fans. I love touring. I love playing music. But it's very important to find a balance in life. You know, I have a beautiful wife. I'm married for, for a, uh, a lot of years already. And I have two beautiful children. And during the pandemic, I finally had some time to spend with them. So, yeah, it, uh, actually, the pandemic was, was, I guess, pretty good for me personally. I know a lot of people have been affected in a bad way. But um, yeah, it was a good moment to reflect about what I really want and stuff. Yeah, of course, because you're used to see uh, or being around of people, music festivals, clubs, parties, concerts, and that change. And you took that part of uh, taking the, the the positive part of being with the family. And uh, I'm I'm sure that if you get any inspiration at that time, and uh, what about new hobbies? <laughs> new hobbies? Uh, well, I actually do. I, I was already a little bit into barbecuing. Uh, but yeah, I, I guess cooking is now a little bit of my hobby since the pandemic. <laughs> and also, uh, uh, me and my wife, we uh, had a little Corona project. We started uh, in Holland. If you want to have a boating license, you know, uh, you need to st study for it and you need to do an exam. So I got my boating license together with my wife, which was actually pretty nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, I did a lot of reading, um, worked out, I quit drinking. Um, nice. And I just, um, you know, spend more time with the family. Um, it, you know, Corona made me aware of the fact that, you know, there's other things in life that I love to do as well. Don't don't get me wrong. I won't quit DJing. <laughs> <laughs> I love DJing. I love playing for, for people. And it's, it's absolutely my passion. So I will never quit, but maybe just a little bit less. Yeah, and we love it too. So that would be a shame, but it, that's good news. That's good news for us. <laughs> so, so let's get into this new album. Um, and uh, we know that On and On with the punctual and Alika is the first track released uh, from uh, this eighth album from you, Feel Again. And uh, now this song, On and On, is more than uh, six million streams on Spotify and a lot of content in, in social media, especially in TikTok. So did you know that was going to happen? Well, I have to be honest with you, when I played the track for the first time last year in the summer, I already saw the crowd reaction and uh, I've been playing it a lot in my set. So. People were requesting it, like we're asking, when are you going to release it? So I kind of felt that the hype was real. So it took a little bit of time to release it because I really want to do a good video and get the proper promotion plan. So the on and on uh, was also the release date, uh, same release date as the album. And, uh, you know, 34 new tracks for my fans. And I think it's something special. And cool. yeah, I just, I'm super happy how it's doing and how well it's being received. It's really amazing. Yeah, it is. It's such a good process and we know that it's important uh, for artists like you being in social media. No? Did you plan on uh, going viral, for example, or a trend, or do you just say uh, it's something that it comes natural? Um, you know, I have a great team of people that help me with these kind of things, but most of it just comes natural to me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's because you're a goat and people <laughs> respond to that. That's natural, I know. Well, um, how important is uh, the process of keeping learning nowadays? It's been, um, for you, it's been a successful journey, uh, an important career, but knowing that it is important to continue with this process of learning and learning after the end of the times, uh, and uh, how important is this, is this process for you nowadays? It's super important to keep learning. I, I guess um, one of the things I realized also during the pandemic was how little I actually know, you know. You can't rely on, on, the, on your knowledge. There's always something to learn. And 
This is also, I think I want to say something to my fans, that the most important thing is to keep learning in life. It also makes life interesting, you know, because uh, life is so rich, it's so cool, there's so much you can learn from, well, for example, cooking like I did, or, or getting your boating license, or I don't know, getting your paddy diving degree, or uh, and also with producing, you know, I work with Punctual and Alika on, on and on. And these are two really young guys from the UK. Now, don't think that they know that I know everything that they know. They have another way of working, another way of producing. And I find it very inspirational to work with young guys in the studio because it actually inspires me to, yeah, to be creative as well and, and to learn new things. So you can learn a lot from like a, a young 18 year old guy in the studio. He's, you know, the technique of making music is constantly evolving. So it's it's super important to, to watch YouTube tutorials and to self-educate and, and stay hungry for new knowledge and, and new techniques. Yeah, that's, that's pretty humble of, of yours, of being, like I said, a GOAT, a legend, and to continue learning. <laughs> and this process is pretty humble. And, and I'm, I'm so happy about this. Thank you. Thank you. means a lot. Yeah, yeah. So you've been in Peru before, like Greenfield, so in 2012, DJ Mac Festival in 2017. So when is going to be the next time? Uh, we have no date planned as yet, but um, I need to come back to Peru, man. I really want to. I really want to come back. So I, let's hope. Wait, let's aim for something next year. It would be amazing. It uh, would be a dream come true because. Uh, some of my best gigs were, were in Peru, like the, the crowd is so energetic and they know, know all my songs. So yeah, I really can't wait to come back. Yeah, we, we know. That's one of the things that we, 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 we are like Peruvians. And what do you think or what do you like about for Peruvian fans despite the energy? And we know all the lyrics, all, all the bits and something like that. What do you, what do you like about uh, we as a Peruvians? Well, I think it's one of the most educated crowds in the world. They know all their songs and they know what they like. And uh, I've been coming to Peru for many years. I played many gigs in Peru, and I, I always was always so surprised about how good they know the songs. You know, because you have to understand. You know, I'm here in the Netherlands right now, and I make these songs here in my studio. But I don't know what what happens in Peru. You know, I know I have a label there that represents me and it promotes my music, but I don't know if people know my actual tracks. You know, because it's the other side of the world for me. Um, and just the fact that, you know, actually people know your songs is a magical feeling because I always hope that people like my songs, but you only know it until you see all the people singing along, you know? So, yeah, that's a magical feeling for sure. Yeah, and what, what can you say about, um, about uh, or, or to your Peruvian fans uh, that are waiting for this interview and uh, news about you, new music, and of course, this new album, um, what can you say to us? Uh, well, I just want to say uh, muchas gracias a todos. Thank you to my Peruvian fans. I miss you guys. I had uh, such an amazing amount of gigs in your beautiful country. So let's hope I can come to you again next year uh, for, uh, for a big show. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> of course, we're looking forward for it. So thank you so much, Armin, for being here with us in Radio Planeta. We hope you're the best. You're such a legend. And uh, I'm so happy of being here with you. Thank you so much. Uh, once again, uh, gracias. And uh, yeah, good luck with the show. <laughs> yeah, of course. Thank you so much, Armin. We hope you're the best. Thanks, man. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.